My name is Richard Joyce. I'm a conservation biologist with the Xerces Society for Invertebrate Conservation. We're out here today at the salt marshes of Manahawkin Wildlife Management Area to do some lightning bug, or you may call them firefly, surveys. We're doing these surveys in partnership with NJDEP Fish and Game, and we're looking for some particular fireflies, not just, not just any fireflies, but a couple of species that live just in salt marshes and we think um, could be in trouble going forward. Tonight's survey is following the protocol of the Firefly Atlas, which is a project that the Xerces Society coordinates, that I coordinate. But basically, the, the two main things that we're trying to capture are the flash pattern of the firefly, uh, different species kind of have their own rhythm and their own choreography that they do each night. And we're also going to catch these fireflies so that we can look at them up close, take photos of the top and the underside, um, so that we can document these species and, and show that they're, that they're occurring here. Insects are pretty easy to ignore or just not pay attention to. And I'd say that in the past uh, decade or so, more and more people have started paying attention, especially because of pollinators and bees and uh, the role that insects play in our food production and agriculture. But believe it or not, people haven't been paying close attention to all our different firefly species over the years. But about five years ago, the IUCN Firefly Specialist Group did conservation assessments for North American firefly species, over 130 species and found that somewhere between one in six and one in three firefly species may be uh, at a higher risk of extinction. Like other insects, fireflies are facing threats from many different directions. Things like pesticides, um, light pollution, habitat loss, and climate change as well. We don't have exact numbers for a lot of these firefly species. There just is very little data. So that's a big part of why what we're doing out here is to collect data about um, where we're finding species, in what kinds of numbers, um, and that will lay the, the groundwork for future monitoring and just managing for these species where we find them. I know a lot of people that don't actually like bugs that much, but then you stop and say, well, what about lightning bugs? What about fireflies? And I really don't know anyone uh, who doesn't love fireflies. I know so many people who associate fireflies with with their grandparents' house or with time in the summer. Protecting fireflies, it's, it's about the ecosystem, but it's also about human connections and human emotions, and that's one of the, the really beautiful, beautiful things. Uh, my son's uh, just turned one, and he goes to bed before the lightning bugs come out, but I am really hoping and looking forward to having fireflies be something that he gets to enjoy moving forward into the future.